plaintiff, Rashonda Booker, says her husband has four children with the defendant. But after he and Rashonda got married, the defendant started calling CPS on them. Rashonda claims she filed a restraining order against the defendant, and she's suing her for defamation. Defendant Shantese Green says she left Rashonda's husband because he was physically and mentally abusive. And Rashonda is the one who called CPS on her and her family 12 times. She's countersuing for emotional distress. All rise. This court is now in session. The Honorable Judge Greg Mathis presiding. You may now be seated. Start with you. Good afternoon, Judge. Mm -hmm. My husband and Shantice used to date. Um, they have four children together. I introduced myself to Shantice um, because I knew the kids would be around me. Mm -hmm. um, March of 2016, Shantice started sending me communications on Facebook. Uh, when it was time to pick up the kids from the police station, she tried to sideswipe me in my new vehicle. Okay, why, did the, why were the kids at the police station? Because as far as parent time, they didn't agree to where they had to meet to drop off the boys. So it became the police station yes, was correct. the location. Correct. Okay, that was a mutual meeting yes. site. Got it. All right. And so what happened at the police station this time you're referring to? Shantice tried to sideswipe my vehicle and I had my minor daughter. Why do you think that was? Because she was upset. About what? Because I was with my, me and my husband was together. Okay. So I did make a police report. Um, it went back. She was, the thing was, she was stopping my husband from seeing his, his boys because of me. So. Who told you that? She stated in court. It's been plenty of okay. times that it's been said in she court. She stated in court. Yes. Mm -hmm. So I ended up getting a protection order against Shantice. She was right. found in violation of the protection order because um, she was still sending communications. She was she sent her sister to try to fight me, and I do have the protection order if you would like to see that yep. as well. Please. Thank you. Okay, this is Detroit 36th District Court, yes. where, where I sat as a judge. All right. She was fined for, in regards to the violation. Um, then she started, it just became, Child Protective Service came in, came, um, in the How did picture. they get involved? Because Shantice contacted Child Protective Service on numerous occasions. Saying what? Saying that my, my minor daughter had sexually assaulted my stepson. His son that was living with her. Yes. Okay. And that was what, Mom? That was March I see of in 16. That's when the protective order yes, was March violated. March of 2017. That was the first time she called Child Protective Service, March of 2017. One year later. Yes. And what happened from there? CPS came out. They did the investigation. And also, our, where I reside, the police came out as well to do investigation. The police had closed the case because there was no evidence found. The judge had the judge had explained that there was no evidence. Mm -hmm. So every time we will he will be a case in regards to getting his parents time back, she will come with another. I'll, you won't see him. She wouldn't show up at the police station, Your Honor. She wouldn't communicate with us as far as them not coming. She's been a contempt okay. of court. How many you have? Oh my goodness. One. Um, no, more, it's over. More than it's one? over ten times for withholding visitation. Yes. Yes, let me she's see. also I'm been fined. A, let she, me take a quick, uh, just. She's also been fined with the contempt of court. Not once. We have another one coming up for her being the contempt of court as well. Well, let me stop there before we go any further. And it seems like you might be tuning up for some more stuff. Something oh, yeah. else happened? Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Something else happened? Yes, yes. yes. Ma'am, let me hear from you. Okay, when I met Rashonda, I guess she still thinks that I want her husband. I don't. The reason why I stopped talking to him, because he was mentally and physically and emotionally abusive. He would put pictures, nudity pictures of me up on Facebook, sent it to my mom, my dad, my sister, who was a minor at the time when he sent it to her. I hope you called the police when he did yes, that. Yes, we made a police report. Then he created a date sign saying that I was perform sexual act for money. When I 
when I met with her, I told her I thank her, I appreciate her, I gave her a hug, mm -hmm. I told her congratulations, and I wish her and him nothing but the best mm -hmm. because I was hoping that at the time when since they got together, mm -hmm. with him threatening me and my kids about killing us would stop, the mm -hmm. phone calls would stop, all the drama would stop, but it was like it just kept continuing. Turned around, Child Protective Service. I had between me and my family of her calling Child Protective Service it's been twelve times. Okay, you you've jumped ahead of a lot of things. I'm sorry, that are I'm real important nervous. that she alleged, and her allegations were regarding a protection order that the court says you violated. Then we're also talking about the ten uh, contempts of court. That's the, what I'm talking okay. about, not this gossip. Okay, All the right. I'm sorry, the mm -hmm. um. The PPO that she put out on me, mm -hmm. she never did serve it to me. And at the time, I was working and I was out of town. I was in mm -hmm. Ohio. Mm -hmm. where and she, you never knew of it? I never knew of you it. You never appeared in court? I appeared in court. Well, then you knew of it. Move no, on. I didn't, no, well, see, I didn't how know. How do you appear and not know? Tell me about these contempts. The contempt yeah. happened because mm -hmm. her daughter was touching on my son. No, she said, I have contempt for Withholding visitation? Is this yes. what this is? Yes. Is that what this is for? Withholding visitation? Yes. And that's why we hold my children because my son came to me. And, and what time. and what what uh month and year did he come to you? He came to me of uh, March the twenty sixth when he came back. Of what year? Uh, it was 2017. Okay, these contempts started in 2015. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty-one, twenty-two, twenty-two times before we even got to the year seventeen. That How do you explain what, those contempts? I don't know where they came from. Okay, where well, they came from the court. In, I'm in reading it. No, I'm saying when in 2015, he was getting the kids. Man, when he started making I'm going his, with what I believe the court okay. over you. What did you want to tell me, um, ma'am, about the defamation? I have the second case that happened in January 2018 when she called CPS again on my minor daughter again. And this time I'm having to explain to my daughter oh, what's going on. And she's a minor, so... I'm taking her innocence away from her because of this. Let me see that. Well, and the result was the case that there was no action taken. It was cold taken. as well, yes. All right, ma'am, let me hear from you regarding the violation of the protection order and regarding the uh, contempt uh, liability that you were issued. Go ahead. Okay, like I was saying, she has made many is 12, between me and my family, 12 child protective service against us. Saying that the kids don't eat, the kids are getting beating, the house is dirty, um, just any 12, and everything that she can make 12, up. 12, she filed 12, 12 complaints. Yes. What was the result of the 12? They closed all of them. And you made two toward her so far. So with, and with, you've made 12 no. toward on her? No. How many did she? How many I, times did you report her to CPS? The hospital, and I have it, I have their hospital records. The hospital called um, CPS on her because her boyfriend- Did you no, ever call no, CPS? No. Do you have evidence of her calling? It was a voice recording of her- A what? A voice recording. A voice? Recording of her husband saying, we're calling Child Protective Service. The he was reporting you, not that she. So let's move on. What else do you want me to know other than she filed 12 reports against you? Well, maybe you have, they, you have the I, conclusions. Yes, you I have You have 12 the, conclusions, right? Yes, and I have. All right, 12 dismissals? Yes. Let's see. Ma'am, she says she's finna show me 12. No, not. That's not 12 of them, those no, are- No, give me the, 12, ma'am. You said you had 12. <laughs> the other ones was in my family's name, not in my name. So I couldn't get them because it has to be in my she name. She reported. Your family, you're saying. Right, but she... What did like, she say about your family? What did she say your family did? Basically, she said that they're, they're not... They're beating on the kids. My sister is touching on my son. My son goes to therapy now. He vented to his therapist about him getting touched on. Mm -hmm. I have that. And you showed that to CPS? Yes. How did they, they respond? Talk, they talked to the uh, Child Protective Service uh -huh. lady. I mean, to the uh, therapist, the therapist lady. 
And basically what they told me was that since he is not giving dates, months and years of when it's happening, he's just combining everything together. Your child. Yes. Mm -hmm. That it's not strong enough. They don't know. He's not disclosing enough information mm -hmm. for them, them to take go. Action. Yes. When I took my son, because I had to take all the kids mm -hmm. to the children's hospital, all the doctors talked to him, and they called and made a complaint also because... You have their reports to saying that they believed that no, it happened? No, when, when I talked to Child Protective Services... No, no, do you have a no, doctor's do report no, do saying doctor's we report. believe... Do you have something from CPS then yes. that says the doctors told us? No, she didn't Okay, I know you don't. <laughs> All right, so um, your... Uh, Counterclaim for 3000 is for what? How does she cause you emotional distress? Because of what the Child Protective Service saying that where my kids was going to get washed at night for me to go to work, that ended up causing me to lose my job because they couldn't go where they was getting washed at because she accused my sister of touching my son. And then she also constantly... Okay, so what does she get for you accusing her? Did she get her 3000 We can break even then. Uh-uh. What I said was true. Yours was false? Not at all. She says hers is true. She certainly has shown me information about um, your activity that was detrimental and found to be liable and you were punished for. Now, that doesn't have anything to do with the defamation, however, ma'am. So give me the uh, uh, actual other. defamation. Tell me and prove okay. it. Okay, I feel as though she, the defamation is, I let everything go. I wanted to live my life. I had my baby in January 2018. That's when she calls Child Protective Service. You have the paperwork where Child Protect, no, the detective put on there that the, she feels as though the boys was coached. It's in there. I have that? Yes, she just gave it to you. It's the Child Protective Service report. I believe it's on page 11. Okay. I have it too. Ma'am, do you have a report the same? Do you, have you read that or are you gonna play crazy and say you haven't read that? I you have read not, that? I have not seen that. I told but you they, that. No, they <laughs> I have. I told you to <laughs> say that. They, they said it to my mom when she took the kids to Children's oh, Center no. that they was coached, but I didn't see didn't it in the letter. You just read it. I didn't see it in the letter. Oh, you were told, but you didn't read it. No, I didn't see it okay. in the letter. Okay. When the child, when the Child Protective Service people come out, we never has anybody found. Come. Has anybody found her liable of anything that you alleged that she did? No, because I haven't had... When we go to court, it's me and her husband going to court for our children. Okay. It's never me and her for nothing. They got more than one court. We just never went. You never petitioned it. No, I never yes, did. Yes, you did I, go. I was going... You did go. You went for the protective orders. I was... You went for 22 contempt orders. Right. The same person who do us for... The defamation, the ma'am, is the CPS uh, investigation? No, not just that. What? I let it go. She posted on Facebook a status about my daughter and she named me as well. My kids do not go over there with their father because your daughter loves touching on them and places. This is, what's your defense to this, ma'am? Yes, I did post that. And the reason that I post that was because Rashonda ended up texting some, texting a guy that I used to talk to wife. Uh, talking about my son. Mm -hmm. And I have that proof right here. It's texting one-on-one? -on -one? Yes. All right. You went public, told the entire public. I never mentioned her daughter's name at all. <laughs> you mentioned her name, and if people know she has a daughter, <laughs> and you mentioned her name. Your counterclaim is for what again? Because you're we're finished with defamation. Okay. You're liable for that. She has also did the same thing. She has posted pictures of my kids and talking about me. Saying what? She said our, our she said our baby mama said our boys don't like coming over, but just can't fake these smiles no matter what. You try these boys love us that you have no power over us. I'm going to conclude yours is not defamation nor emotional distress. Your claim is dismissed and yours is granted. You have Thank a very you. clear case of defamation. Bye-bye. Have a good day. Our kids shouldn't be involved with uh, doing between me, what me and her go through. She's doing all this because she's bitter. That my kids love my wife. My kids, my kids attend to my wife. They they care about her and all, all that kind of stuff. So that's all a lie. All I wanted her to do was get her daughter some help because it doesn't help my kids at all if I'm constantly taking them to therapy to get help for what her daughter is doing. 
If you say you will believe it more if your son did it than your daughter, you know your daughter doing something. Just get her some help. That's all I'm saying. Get her some help. At the end of the day, she mad and she's still gonna have her lies, but we had faith that it was gonna work in our favor and it did.